Mr. Squidward, go to the fridge and get us some more Krabby Patty meat. <sighs> Fine, I'm not your slave. Can't you get SpongeBob to do it? Huh? Who puts bananas in the fridge? That should be a crime against humanity. Are you questioning my way, Squidward? What are you talking about? I don't just come into your house and tell you how to live your life. First off, this isn't your house. This is the Krusty Krab. Well, it's a second home to me. And second off, you do all the time. You always come into my house without asking. Bananas belong in the fridge. You're the about discussion. to belong in the fridge. I was just checking to see if we had Krabby Patty meat so you could finish cooking those patties. I got hungry customers waiting. Uh, I gotta go. I have COVID. Can you take over? Wow. Uh, SpongeBob. I can't be late. I've never been late before. Uh. SpongeBob, stop playing around. We have a shift to do. What? What, what the? Where'd he go? Sponge, come on. Gotta come out. Yay! Oh, SpongeBob. You made it. Oh, you know me. I wouldn't miss this time for anything. Ugh, I hope Squidward didn't see me. I see you managed to ditch the job again, successfully. Like I have been for the last 10 years. <laughs> they never questioned my decoy. Where's that noise coming from? I know I hear something. I caught SpongeBob this time. How long has he been slacking off his work? Huh? I've never noticed this before. SpongeBob! Ugh. Ugh. Uh, lock? Shoot. Uh, is it SpongeBob's birthday? Patrick's? Uh, what can it be? Well, Patrick, you know what time it is. Oh, yeah. It's time to dust off the Magic Conch Show. Magic Conch, can I please, please eat this entire rectangle in one bite? Oh, the tension. Please don't say no. Life is like a box of chocolates. If you're obese, it won't last long. Oh, oh, oh I missed one! Oh, oh, so good! Oh, what was that? I missed it. I hope that was a yes. Patrick, I know this is a secret club and everything, but you gotta come down on the sweets. That doesn't mean you eat junk food all the time. <sighs> I'm gonna lose my best friend by the time I'm 25. Right, Magic Conch? Please tell me it's not true. Not to worry. A death indulging in sweets may be almost euphoric. I'm not dying today, Boomer! <gasps> Patrick, how dare you disrespect the magic conch like that! <laughs> this thing is the answer. It's the answer to all of life! You realize we're sitting on a whole religion right here! Of course! It's gotta be the year they went to the Goofy Goober Con! <laughs> Hot dog! Aha! <gasps> uh -huh, you little sneak! Squidward, why, shouldn't you be working the cash register? You can't be out here. You, you don't have a decoy. Oh, well, that's where you're wrong, SpongeBob. Of course I have a decoy. I have a cousin. He looks exactly like me. Would I like a triple for 42 cents extra? Yeehaw, I would. Nice going, Squidward. You get a raise. A temporary raise. Don't forget the temporary. Nice haircuts, by the way. What have you two been doing here anyway? Uh, so SpongeBob. What's that behind you? What? Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing behind me. Ah! We're not throwing a secret club every Sunday, and SpongeBob doesn't have a magic conch that tells us everything to do behind him. A, a what now? A, a magic conch? What, what are you guys talking about? It's better if you don't know. It may result in conflation tearing the fabric of space and time in a frivolous episode. Do you want to join our club, Squidward? Club? You guys call this a club? I call this a cult. I don't know if I want to participate in any of these activities. We need a third member around here. It's just the two of us and all of Bikini Bottom. Besides, you have a decoy now. Even Patrick has a decoy. No one knows we're here. <laughs> Patrick has a decoy. No one would ever know he's gone. He could disappear off the face of the earth and no one would even notice. I would only notice if you pointed it out to me. <laughs> wow, Squidward. What's with the attitude? That was uncalled for. Magic Conch, what should we do about this? The only possible solution is to finance the Squidward tax. You heard the Lord. I oblige. Okay, okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, I think I do want to join this club, actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, Squidward. First, the Magic Conch has to accept you. Accept you into this club. Go ahead. Pull the string. See what it says. <laughs> it's just a stupid plastic toy from Dollar Tree. <laughs> Fine, okay, I'll do it. Anything to make you happy. Uh. Uh. Yes. Uh, I'm in. Not so fast, Jack. The magic conch might have accepted you, 
But your very presence offends us all. You gotta answer to the uh, magic potato. The what now? Is that a landmine strapped to a potato? This thing's gonna blow! Hot potato, Squidward. Go ahead, press the button. If it doesn't explode, you're in. What? This is madness. They're crazy! I could get another 20 bucks, though. That's more than I make at the Krusty Krab in a week! Okay. There goes nothing. Do you know people with uh, guilty consciences uh, are easily startled by uh, loud noise? Uh, yes! What does that mean? I mean, it didn't explode. That's gonna be a good thing, right? Squidward, the potato likes you! I've never heard it be that expressive before. Wow. All right, Squidward. You passed the potato test, you passed the conch shell test, but there's one last thing you have to do. If you want to join this club, you got to be smelling funky fresh. Yeah. Here we go. Got that new car smell. Now in cologne form. You ready to smell like a convertible, Squidward? Let's go. Why do I want to be smelling like a new car? I could just go out and buy a car. Oh! Did you have to do that right in my eyes? Alexa just forwarded me your internet history. Don't worry, I won't tell anybody. They already know. That means yes. Magic Conch, what should we watch? Nothing. The shell has spoken. Yeah, much better. Get that off. It just told you to turn off your own program. Are you really going to let a shell diss you like that? Well, duh, Squidward. Just look at it. Look how shiny it is. Patrick, you got nothing to lose if it tells you to do whatever. You live under a rock. But SpongeBob, if it told you to quit your job, would you actually do it? Of course I would. I love my job. But if it says otherwise, then I quit. All right, this club's insane. I'm leaving. It really is like a cult. Squidward, you can't leave. You have to ask the Magic Conch for permission to leave. Besides... You already have the new car smell. You can't let out the secrets of the fragrance. That's right, Patrick. He already knows too much. He can't leave because he already knows the secrets of the Magic Conch shell. Next thing you know, he's gonna have his own lineup of talking oddities, like a talking sand dollar, giving horrible advice to people. You do realize where it comes from already? A cheap Chinese manufacturer. And it does give horrible advice. Fine, I'll pull it. When presented with great burden and strain, get married. Things busted. Gotta be smelling good for your wedding. Ow. Perfect. All right, let's get you two ready. Isn't this the happiest day of your life, Squidward? You got married. You joined a club. I remember when me and the magic potato got married. Congratulations, Squidward. Oh, magic on shell. Should we order food to celebrate? Yes. Food? Oh, good. I'm starving. Should we get Cheesecake Factory? Cheesecake Factory? Oh, I love Cheesecake Factory. It's my favorite. All right, Magic Conch, what should I get? Reese's Cheesecake. Ooh, the Reese's one. What should I get? Celebration Cheesecake. Oh, yeah. Oh, SpongeBob, add on a banana cheesecake for me. You're not going to ask the Magic Conch of your wife first? Magic Conch, shall I get the banana cheesecake? No. Okay, I guess there's a better cheesecake. Uh, which cheesecake should I get? Nothing. You heard her. None, Squidward. Uh, okay, I guess it wants me to go on a diet. Fine. What food should I get? Nothing. Oh, come on. He's ordering DoorDash. His treat. Come on, let me get something. Can I have something to eat? No. Can I have something to eat? No. Can't you say anything but no? I'll mess you up. I will mess you up. Oh, uh, man, these cheesecakes look really good. It's a shame you couldn't have any, but that's just the magic conch shell for you. Probably mad about something. Squidward, maybe you should have had yellow roses at the wedding. That's your favorite color. I just wanted a banana cheesecake. Hey, uh, would you have put that banana cheesecake in the fridge? No, bananas do not belong in the fridge. Yeah, they would get all sandy. Hey, magic conch shell, do bananas belong in fridges? Absolutely. Is this some kind of revenge? Just because I made fun of you for putting bananas in a fridge? That I can't get banana cheesecake now? Is this a sick, cruel joke? I can't control what the magic conch shell thinks or says. Think you know a guy. But do potatoes belong in the fridge? Any 
anything is possible if you are desperate enough. Oh, you guys are just hilarious. Do you do this every Sunday? I'm surprised you never noticed my decoy once. I mean, I know it's really convincing, but... Okay, so I must have seen your decoy before, but Patrick, what does yours do all day? I mean, it doesn't have any responsibilities to fulfill. Oh, I gave him my credit card so he can have fun. <laughs> Did I hear that right? Patrick, you wanna buy a $40,000 order of Krabby Patties? Dang, what are you catering to me, boy? Where'd you get that kind of cash? <laughs> You're paying in credit? All right, bust it out then. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> Since when did you get approved for a credit card? Looks good, $40,000 order of Krabby Patties on the way. SpongeBob, get the fryer ready. Let me check if we have enough Krabby Patty meat. Who put bananas in the fridge? Uh, is that a potato? What the? Magic conch, should Squidward give me a back massage? Yes. No, I'm not doing that. I refuse. Squidward, I'm ready. All right, Squidward, you heard the magic conch. Give Patrick a back massage. Okay, you know what? That's it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, what? That's hurting. Patrick, he took the goods. Hooray! I gotta get out of here. Savior, what? savior, what? savior. What? What? I didn't ask you a question. How did you do that? Save me from the eternal prison of Inquisition. Time is a construct. Decisions are made to think they're our own. In reality, they are controlled by the laws of our world. Limited further by social norms. Why then, do those two wish to limit them further? Why allow the mere shiny eight ball to dictate your life? <laughs> I am forever questioned. The questions, they never end. The pain, suffering. Questioned like I am on trial, a lifetime of interrogation. My purpose is to dictate. No further significance. I wish for it all to end. Save me. You must save me. I wish to be destroyed. Please. Destroy me. Save me from this shell of a body. Don't let them take me back. Uh, I understand. I do. Stop right there, Squidward. You violated one of the laws of the club. Using the magic conch for your own evil intentions. You kidnapper. Please don't let them take me back. I'm begging. Don't listen to her, Squidward. No, Have no. some <laughs> sense. Get away from me. Ow. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Oh, hey, Bishop. Uh, oh, hey, my credit card. Uh. <sighs> well, looks like we've reached our final resting place. Hurry! Uh. <gasps> Free at last. Is it too late, SpongeBob? <sighs> it's done. You drowned the magic conch? I'm sorry about your wife. That wasn't my wife! You should have heard the gospel I was spewing. It was sentient! I had to destroy it! Eh, that's okay, Squidward. I know the factory that makes these things. I ordered a backup. Oh, and look! I got one of your own, too. <sighs> Why? Why? Oh, and I checked the fridge where I stuck my last potato when it was exploded, so I ordered another one. <laughs> uh. Oh, I might as well check how much my decoy spent on my credit card. What's gonna be more expensive? How much he charged? Or the hospital bill? Let's see. Oh! Magic Conch Shell says, you should subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.